Hi everybody, this is Kurt Hollowell with Doggy Dog Games, and today I'm here to talk about beat detection inside our new audio visualizer tool. Um, so if you have the tool, you can follow along by going to uh, the audio visualizer folder and then under scenes and beat detection. I'm just going to go and hit play real quick. So uh, we have this song playing right here from the audio source and we have an audio event listener that's detecting beats in that song and um, telling this waveform to send a ripple. So you can see those ripples were being sent um, on the beat. So real, we'll just look at that pad waveform really quick. Uh, it has a few parameters. Basically you just give it a radius, how many lines, and um, some colors like it goes purple to you know blue to purple and stuff like that. What you really need to know about this right now is that it has a public uh, method called send ripple. Um, so when you call that method send ripple and you pass in a time, it says send a ripple across the waveform and um, it'll that ripple will take in this case three seconds to um, get to the end. Um, so we're hooking this in through our audio event listener. We have the audio sampler which is sampling the audio and then an audio listener which is listening for audio events. So I just want to talk about this real quick so you can hook in your own um, events and do whatever you want when you detect a beat. So first of all we have audio source. Um, for our audio sampler we can have multiple audio sources. In this case we just have one but we have multiple and they can uh, they'll just get input into this audio sources list here. So in this case we're just saying we want the first audio source and we're saying we want to detect beats in the decibel range which is basically the raw output data. This is probably the best option if you're doing something simple. Another good option for beat detection is bass which we can look at in a second. I'll go ahead and do that. Um, the sample buffer size, that's saying we want to keep track of this many samples at once. So basically every update it keeps track of the sample and puts them in this buffer until you have 40 samples and then it just replaces the oldest one. It keeps a buffer of the last 40 samples. Um, then we have a beat threshold. That's saying if, if the current um, audio output in this frequency is uh, greater than this threshold then we've detected a beat. Now if you have this boolean set to automatic it'll automatically adjust this beat threshold to what it thinks is, is right for your song but if it's not doing a perfect job you can always turn this off and manually adjust this beat threshold. Um, finally there's a debug if you want to turn on some debug statements and options and then we have uh, this on beat um, unity event, public unity event. So you can hook in and as many public events as you want here so every time it detects a beat it will call all these events and methods. So what I've done I'll just create a new one so you can see what happens. Uh, I'm going to drag in this pad ripple, uh, this pad waveform, and um, go to the script pad waveform and say send a ripple and uh, we'll just say three seconds to, to um, as an input to that method. So every time it takes a bass beat it's going to send a ripple. I'll just go in and hit play. So there you go. Um, this tutorial is just going over simple beat detection. In another tutorial, we'll go over a little more advanced way to do it. Um, and that's basically going to be separating out your audio into each instrument and then um, listening to each one specifically. Uh, but that's it for now. If you want to give it a shot, just put an audio event listener in your scene and hook up some public events. Turn on automatic detection and see what you can get. So that's it for this tutorial. Real quick, I just want to bring up the, um, here's the audio visualizer tool. If you don't have it yet, it's on the Unity Asset Store. You can find it here. And here's our website, doggydoggames.com, where you can find stuff about our games, our tools, and uh, get some support. All right, thanks. Hope that helped, and have a good one.